Hello everyone, this is Scooby Serial of Hike Starts Here. On the last episode about how to pack your hiking backpack, some of you asked me, what's the color orange thing inside my backpack or my mother bag? Well, that is my hiking sleeping pad. So on this episode, we will be talking about how to choose your hiking sleeping pad. For multi-day hikes, you will need to have a good night's sleep for you to enjoy the great outdoors. And one way to fulfill that is for you to have your perfect hiking sleeping pad. So, paano ba yun? There are five things to remember. Comfort, compressibility, durability, insulation, and weight. Now, I've tried four types of hiking sleeping pad and I will let you know my experiences with them. Alright? So let's start! First, air pads. These are pads that you blow into to form a relaxing bed. Napakasarap matulog dito. Very comfortable. Para siyang mini air bed. Air bed, air pads, you get the point. It looks like this. Pag binuksan, I've been blowing it since a while ago. But it may take you around 5-7 minutes for you to form the bed. So medyo nakakapagod siya. It's not best if you'll be doing high altitude mountains or I would say when your itinerary you'll be arriving at the campsite really late. I mean, just think about you needing extra effort or energy for you to create your bed. Now, advantages, very comfortable. It provides great insulation. Its weight, very very light and compressible kasi nga, it can be as small as a Najin bottle na 1 liter. The price will be around 1,500 to 7,000. It will depend on the brand. So, hinihipan to. Medyo matagal. But then for some, meron siyang parang machine or pumping machine that you bring for the bed to form faster. Now, downside, it can be noisy. It can create squeaking sound. So, kung light sleeper ka, this may not be the best sleeping pad for you. Mabili siya masira, mabili siya mabutas. So, for us, for example, we want to use it outside our tent, magkakape, we'll think for the sunrise, the sunset. Watch out, be extra careful, be extra vigilant. Kasi mabili siya mabutas. And when that happens, wala ka ng kama. So, remember, when you're using air pads, you need to bring your kit also para matakpan. Like for this one, actually, hindi sa akin to eh. Hindi po lang to. So, thank you, Kena. For this one, may tatlong butas na. One, two, and three. Pero may pang tapal naman. So, it still works perfectly well. For this type of hiking pad, this will be best for people who are light packers. Next hiking pad is the self inflating pad. So ito para siyang air pad but it has its own self inflating pads or foams inside it. Unlike air pads, you do not necessarily need to blow into the pads or if ever just a little. Kubaga, ilalatag mo lang, mo form siya ng bed. Tapos at times you need to blow into it just for you to create a better bed na ma-adjust mo. It's more comfortable than air pads. It has better insulation. The downside is it's heavier, it's bulkier, and it's more expensive. And like the air pad, madalirin siya mabutas. Thus, you need your own patch para just in case mabutas siya. Now, this would be the best pad if you don't mind the weight, the bulkiness, and the price. Third, closed cell foam pads. It is a dense foam that is very easy to use. Gaganyan ganyan lang, oh, di ba? It is comfortable, but not as comfortable as compared to the air pad and self inflating pad. It is light and very, very durable. Kung bagay ito, kinagat kagat ng aso, eh. <laughs> May mga butas na siya, so no problem if you want to use it outside your tent. For my closed cell foam pads, it has a reflective structure that helps reflect body heat back to your body for that extra warmth. 
Now, downside is it's too bulky. If you want to use this, you'll need to strap this outside your, outside your backpack. I wouldn't recommend this if you're hiking in most mountains in the Philippines, especially the major ones where the trails are too narrow with trees and vines covering the trails. So a lot of the major mountains here in the Philippines, the trails are really narrow, maraming sanga, mga bagsak na puno. So it may make your hike uncomfortable, especially kung isusuksok mo sarili mo sa mga sanga-sanga. A lot of you guys who've done major hikes in Palawan, in Binandanao, in Visayas, some parts of Luzon, alam nyo, nagiging mahirap to. So this one, gagamitin ko siya if I'll be hiking mountains like Mount Ugo and some mountains na maluluwag yung trail. Again, I'll only be using this if the trail is wide. Now, another downside for this is that ayokong mabasa yung gamit ko, especially yung tutulugan mo. In the Philippines, being a tropical country, it can rain anytime. It can rain even though the forecast says otherwise. So this one, ginagamit ko to when I do international hikes, kung saan malamig yung, kung ano tent ka sa mga glacier, this one will be great kasi andalin nyo lang gamitin. At the same time, may mga porter eh. So meron kang duffel bag, ilalagay mo to, wala ka ng problema. So clothes sell foam pads. Last, but not the easiest, at ang favorite na ginagamit ko when I am hiking the Philippines, ang tinatawag na earth pad. Actually, I don't know what you really call it, but here in the Philippines, we call it earth pad. This is what I usually use. Comfort-wise, it is the worst out of the four. Ang nipis niya, so wala masyado insulation, pero magaan siya, durable siya. I've had this earth pad for around 5 years now, 6 years. Nasisira lang siya, actually hindi siya nasisira, nawawala ko lang siya, kaya pinapalitan ko siya. This came from side out. I think this cost me around 200 pesos yata. Now, I think it will be around 300 pesos. Really affordable. Ngayon, uh, may mga downside siya, but I will explain to you kung paano ako compensate for it. Comfort-wise, you need to know that in the mountains, kahit gaano siya kalamig, kahit medyo moist yung tent mo, kahit hindi, kahit uneven yung ground, basta I'm in the mountains, I really, really sleep soundly. Wala akong problema pag nasa bundok ako, pagating sa tulog. So this one, Ayos na ayos sa akin to. Basta may extra warmth, basta may tinutulugan na hindi lang diretso sa tent, okay na sa akin yun. Now, when it comes to insulation, it doesn't provide that much insulation from the ground, but I compensate it by using a better sleeping bag. Kung mas lumalamig pa, edin mag-extra mag layer ako na jacket. One, two, three layer of jacket. Ngayon, bakit ko ba siya favorite? Aside sa magaan siya, inside my bag, ginaginito ko siya. I roll it, it forms really well, that helps me in my balance, at the same time, ang ganda niya tignan, kahit medyo magulo sa backpack mo. I think I have something when it comes to how your backpack looks like. If I see my backpack really formed well, it stands by itself, it's just so much fun to hike. Kaya ito, laking tulong niya. At the same time, sa tent, kahit saan mo siya gamitin, ginagamit ko siya pang windbreaker when I'm cooking, pupuan ko siya, it Ibato-bato ko siya, higaan ko siya sa labas ng tent, wala akong problema eh kasi hindi siya masisira ng basta-basta. So again, earth pad is my go-to hiking pad when I'm in the Philippines. But when I go outside the country, of course, when the weather is really cold, it drops negative zero, may yellow, <laughs> hindi ko ito gagamitin definitely. So tip number one, or the only tip I'll be giving you when choosing your hiking sleeping pad is do your research. What mountain you'll be hiking? What temperature will it be? Is it a major hike? Do you need a big bag? Or 35 liter pack lang pala kailangan mo? Do your research for you to have your perfect hiking sleeping pad. For me right now, I only have two hiking sleeping pads. This one, the earth pad, when I'm hiking the Philippines, ito na yung ginagamit ko 95% of the time. 5% siguro yung air pad kung kailangan, kung short hike lang, tapos yung back pa kumaliit lang, hindi kasha to. That's the time I'll be using my air pad. Outside the Philippines, if there's a camp, it will be cold, may glacier for example. Then, 
I will be using my closed cell foam pads. So there you have it, the four types of hiking sleeping pad and my experience set with them. If you have any questions or clarifications, please write them down on the comment sections below. Now, if you have comments or suggestions about hiking sleeping pads, how you use them, if you have better ideas, please share them down on the comment section below. Again, this is Kobe Sarial. Thank you for watching and your hike starts here. Medyo gumagana yung saxophone skills natin dito ah.